In today's video, we're going to talk about why it's important not to be distracted by things we can't control, such as certain websites cranking up the premiums on silver, or certain websites canceling our orders of silver, and instead using this time to prepare ourselves to the best of our ability for the bigger issue that might be coming down the road. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and everyone's inability to acquire it right now with everything crazy going on. But I think there's something that we should be careful of because there might be something bigger that we should be worried about. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today i wanted to talk about silver and if you are living under a rock you might not have realized what's been going on these last couple of days i'm not even going to reiterate it i've posted three videos over the last three days this is i guess you can say part four but I didn't want to fixate too heavily on exactly what's been going on because those videos pretty much cover everything that I've been talking about and I don't want to be too repetitive. But I did want to start out by saying that with everyone's issue acquiring silver right now, with our ability to order silver getting blocked on Sunday night and then on Monday we saw the spot price not do anything overly intense like everybody was anticipating but the premiums went through the roof and then on tuesday some of us were experiencing order cancellations when we ordered silver at a lower dollar bill price tag and then all of a sudden now that premiums are up our orders are getting canceled and we have to reorder at a higher price now i wanted to start out by saying that a couple people have reached out to me and then when I made yesterday's video, even more people reached out to me. A lot of people were leaving comments on my videos or sending me messages saying, hey, I got my order canceled from this website or that company or blah, 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 blah. I said to them, please screenshot the cancellation email and send it to me via private message on Twitter or Instagram. That way I can use it for a future video. Because I personally am unable and unwilling to call out a website or a company based on hearsay. Unfortunately, not a single one of those people sent me a screenshot of their email. Some of them got back to me saying that they deleted the email, even though they just received it like yesterday. Some of which didn't even respond to my response. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't believe that they're lying to me, but unfortunately, they didn't send me any evidence to back their claim, therefore I am completely unable to and unwilling to make a whole video talking about how this company is canceling orders for these people because I don't know the context of the situation, the details are left out, and no evidence or proof or anything was sent my way. But that is something that people are experiencing. That is something that is going on. This is something that happened 10 months ago, March of 2020. We've seen this before. We've seen this game get played. We've experienced it. We've seen it firsthand. We've had it happen to us, maybe some of us. It's an issue. And people are unable to get silver right now, or at least are unable to get silver easily or at an affordable price because the premiums are so high up. As I've been saying these last couple of days, support your local coin shop. Oftentimes you can get a better deal at the local coin shop than you can online. And if you don't have a local coin shop, go on Google and look up pawn shops, antique shops, thrift shops, maybe go to Craigslist, see if anybody's selling their coins. There's a lot of things you can do. There's always a way to get your hands on some silver. But I wanted to talk about something else today because with everything going on right here in the silver stacking world, it's very easy to laser focus in with tunnel vision unable to see anything else going on in the world outside of high premiums. And I just wanted to say, there's a lot going on. Just because the news isn't talking about it, like they've been for the last four plus years, all of a sudden things have been relatively quiet, but there's a lot going on right now. We still have a major unemployment problem. We have public school teachers that are on strike right now. We have 
average everyday Americans who are feeling betrayed because they were promised a $2,000 stimulus check, and that is 99.9999999% likely to not happen. It was branded as a $2,000 stimulus check, but the proposal is actually only $1,400, which means it's likely to get chopped down even further. So if you're banking on a $2,000, I hate to break it to you, but you're probably not going to get that. We have the stock market, which... I don't know for sure, but it definitely appears to be in a massive, fragile bubble right now. We have a lot of issues in front of us, and with everybody focusing on silver, with everybody focusing on what this website did or what that website did or with the premiums being up or their coin shop being closed on, on a day that they had off of work and couldn't get in there in time, with all of this going on, it's very easy to lose sight of other ways that we should be preparing. By the way, I am going to be going live in the VIP club tonight around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, depending on what time this video gets out. And I also posted a deal alert on some gold in case anybody's interested. And there's a ton of other perks as well. Link in the description if you want to join. Yes, the silver is a way of financially preparing ourselves. At least that's the way I see it. The silver financial preparation just in case we end up experiencing some financial hardships on a micro level economic disasters on a macro level the silver is just one realm when it comes to prepping and i said it yesterday and i'll say it again today if you are unable to get silver right now maybe you don't have a coin shop in your area maybe you don't have the cash on hand to convert into such high premium generic silver rounds and 90% from these websites. Maybe you are unable or unwilling to do that and you're feeling left out or you're feeling blocked off or you're feeling halted like you're stuck at a red light. It's important to remember not to be distracted by what's going on with the silver right now. Yes, we all want more silver. I'm frustrated as well. However, don't let it be a distraction from what could be coming up a couple weeks, couple months down the road. Don't let it be a distraction from the bigger issue that might be right around the corner. Do not be distracted. Keep your head on a swivel and maybe take a step away from silver to focus on your other preps. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you stay busy, as long as you stay productive, as long as you stay ready, you're not going to have to get ready. You don't want to be caught off guard if and when something happens because you spent the last couple of days, weeks, or months doing absolutely nothing but sitting there angry about high premiums and your order getting canceled. You got to focus on everything. You got to make sure everything is taken care of. You got to make sure that you're strengthening your weaknesses and you're maintaining your strengths. A lot of people are going full throttle on silver or they've been going full throttle on silver, completely neglecting to realize that gold is actually down right now. And not only is gold down right now, gold orders have not appeared to have been canceled or blocked off the other day. It was the silver orders that weren't able to be placed. You could still order gold. Not only gold, it's not even just about the financial preps. It's also about the food preps. It's also about first aid preps. It's also about storm damage preps. I don't know how many of you live in the tri-state area, but we got hit with a blizzard the last couple of days. Several feet of snow collapsed my entire canopy. And that's just one example. It's not just about snowstorms. It's not just about the food. It's also about a method of water purification. Self-defense, that goes without saying. There's a lot of different ways to prepare yourself. And it's very easy to lose sight of other things that you should be working on, other things that you should be building on when you're so hyper-focused on the inability to get more silver right now. And trust me, I'm guilty of this myself. 
I for sure want more silver. I'm for sure aggravated with what went on over the last couple of days online. I for sure don't even think that I want more silver. I need more silver. This is not all of it. This is just a small portion of it that I have on screen. But everything that I have locked up in the safe, that's still not enough in my opinion. So if my ability or one of my abilities to financially prepare myself is stuck at a stop sign or a red light, it's aggravating. But just because you're stuck somewhere, just because there's a red light or a roadblock or something going on, doesn't mean that there's not another way. There's always another way. So you might have to postpone the silver and focus a little bit more on gold or your food preps or getting yourself a water purification system or loading up on the medical supplies or stacking the cash. Nothing wrong with stacking a little bit of cash. In fact, almost a year ago, I went three months, no silver, no gold, none of that. I went three months stacking the cash. And the reason I did this was because, number one, March of 2020, I didn't know exactly what was going to be going on. I didn't know what anything meant. I didn't know what the lockdowns were going to lead to. I didn't know how my income or how my jobs were going to be affected. I didn't know how serious of a situation it was. So I said to myself, hey, you know what? Let me take a step back away from everything and hang on to the cash. Because God forbid I get myself into some type of a financial emergency I don't want to have to go run to the coin shop to liquidate my silver because guess what? My local coin shop was closed for about eight months last year because guess what? They're a small business. The liquor store could stay open, but not the coin shop, not the mom and pop shop, not the little family-owned diner or the cookie store or the clothing store. All the big, massive corporations could stay open, but not the little guys. And we rely on the little guys because guess what? We're also the little guys. So I didn't want to get in a really bad situation where I had a whole bunch of silver that I'm sitting on with absolutely no cash and not have the ability to quickly liquidate the silver. Of course I could do it online if I needed to, but then I gotta ship it out, I gotta wait for a payment to process, I gotta wait for everything to go on. I might not have time for that in an emergency, so I hung on to the cash, just in case. Three months down the road I said, okay, this isn't nearly as serious as I thought it was, I'm gonna get back to the silver and the gold, but of course, I've stacked up a little bit of cash, and what did I do with that cash? Instead of picking up a little bit of silver at a time over the course of three months, now I had three months worth of cash where I can just make up for lost time and get three months worth of silver in a smaller time frame. So if you're unable to get silver this week or next week or, or everything that went on last week and two or three or four weeks go by and all of a sudden we see the spot price come down a little bit. Maybe we see the premiums go down because less people are converting their dollars into silver with these online precious metal dealing websites. The premiums will lower. We are, after all, somewhat in control of the premiums because of supply and demand. If there's a lesser demand, the price comes down. That's just the way it works. So if a couple of days or a couple of weeks go by and we see the price go down, you'll have a couple of days or a couple of weeks worth of cash, which you've been holding on to, which you can then convert into silver. Now, unfortunately, I have no idea what the spot price is going to do over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks. I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to get silver for a higher premium because what's going to happen if a week or two goes by and spot price really takes off? I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinion, make your own decision based off of your conclusions, not mine. But I thought it was important to remind everyone not to exclusively focus on the silver 100%. You got to focus on silver, maybe 25%. Focus another 25% of your attention on a different form of prepping, another 25 on a different form of prepping, and another 25 on a different form of prepping. You got to be well-rounded. You have to be as prepared as humanly possible. There's no way in the world to ever be completely ready or completely prepared for every possible scenario there's always going to be something that catches you off guard but if you prep a little bit in a lot of different ways if something takes place you're going to stand a far better chance than the average joe who's not prepping at all or prepping exclusively in one specific way 
I just wanted this to be a little bit of a PSA or a little bit of a heads up or a warning or a be careful not to focus too much attention on one thing because that thing that you're focusing your attention on, guess what? You're not getting a whole lot done with that one thing because right now, it's not like they're going full throttle on picking up silver. Right now, they're going full throttle on being angry and frustrated about silver. So rather than allocating that time, energy, and effort to being annoyed about not being able to get silver, shift your focus and build up on something else. Load up on a different way of prepping. It could be gold. That, there's nothing wrong with gold. You don't have to shift your attention entirely. But make sure you have the food preps. Make sure you have a way of filtering water or even better, purifying water. I'll leave a link to my water purification system in the description. I'll leave a link to my food dehydrator in the description. It makes fruits and vegetables last much longer than fresh from the store and put on the counter. You gotta remember not to let things like what's going on right now, today, yesterday, Monday, Sunday. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's frustrating. We don't know what spot price is gonna do. We don't know what these online sellers are gonna do with their premiums. But don't focus too much of your attention on that. Don't let it be a distraction. You don't wanna get caught off guard and get hit with something because you're not even paying attention. A lot of people got hit with something that they weren't preparing themselves for 10 months ago. Most people, in fact. Most people have less than $500 in savings. Most people don't have silver, don't have gold. Most people, believe it or not, don't even have a two-week food supply. They only have enough to get them through Sunday, and then when Sunday comes, they're going to go right back to the grocery store and load up on another week's worth of groceries. Most people would not be able to survive if something were to take place that took more than a week or more than two weeks. I mean, just look what happened 10 months ago. People were getting into fistfights in Walmart over a can of beans or bags of rice or cases of water or toilet paper. The reason that happened was because they weren't prepared. Again, you can't be prepared for absolutely everything, but the way I see it, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. If something goes on over the next couple of weeks or over the next month, because who knows what might happen? A lot of stuff could happen. 2020 proved that to us. Anything can happen. So who's to say there's not going to be a 2020 part two this year? It could happen. I personally don't think it's going to happen, and I hope to God it's not going to happen, but it could happen. And if it does happen, and you load up on the other preps, you prepare yourself to the best of your ability in other ways, not just with the silver and gold, if something were to go down, you're not gonna have to go get into an MMA match in a Target parking lot. You're not gonna have to choke slam somebody at Costco. You're not gonna have to do any of that. You're not gonna have to worry as much. You're gonna have to worry, but you're not gonna have to worry as much as the average person out there. And unfortunately, as sad as this is to say, you would think 2020 woke people up. You would think people learned their lesson last year. You would think that 2020 actually taught people something. But I guarantee you, if something were to go down this year, the same people who were completely caught off guard and ill-prepared last year would be in the same exact boat this year. Unfortunately, some people don't learn. They went a couple of weeks, they went a couple of months at the beginning of 2020 when everything was at the peak of craziness, when people were the most scared that they were during this entire 10 month long thing. When things started to settle down a little bit, maybe they got their stimulus check, maybe their job reopened, or maybe they were getting unemployment, or maybe this happened or that happened and they realized it was not 
the end of the world, the sky wasn't falling. You want to know what half these people did? They went back to the store and they started buying things that they didn't need. They didn't focus on the preps. They didn't focus on their money or their currency. They didn't focus on anything. They did everything in their power, obviously limited, because maybe they didn't have as much cash to work with, but they did everything in their power to go back to their old habits. And I hope everybody watching this video right now, if 2020 woke you up or came right up to you, smacked you in the face and said, hey, get prepared, I hope you've been consistent and I hope you're remaining consistent because that's what's important. Unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot we could do about the silver right now. Again, visit your local coin shop if you have one in your area. It stands a better chance of being able to get more silver for a lower dollar amount. And obviously, if you walk into a physical storefront, your order is not going to get canceled. So maybe you stand a better chance with coin shops rather than shopping online if you have the ability to do so. But there's not a whole lot else we can do. We can't just snap our fingers and the problem solved. We can't just snap our fingers and the premiums drop. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So while we wait for some of these people or websites to get their act together, why not stay busy and productive doing something else that can help you be prepared if something were to go down? That's what I wanted to talk about today. That's what I wanted to discuss. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on everything I shared in today's video regarding staying ready so you don't have to get ready. If something goes on, if we see a 2022.0, do you think you're going to be a whole lot better off than the average Joe out there? Or do you feel like you've been neglecting certain areas of your preps? Do you feel unprepared in any way, shape, or form? In non-precious metal ways, the food preps, the water purification, the first aid kits, the emergency supplies. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic, prepping in ways that aren't just exclusively about the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I will be going live tonight around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, depending on what time this video gets out. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,600, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, once again, what are your thoughts on staying prepared so you don't have to get prepared, staying ready so you don't have to get ready? When it comes to the financial preps, when it comes to the silver, when it comes to the gold, when it comes to the dollar bills even, or when it comes to other ways of prepping as well, such as the 
food supply, water supply, or at least a water purification system, medical supplies, emergency supplies in the event of a storm, bug out bags, flashlights, etc. And there's a ton of other ways to prep as well, obviously. Have you been preparing this year so far? I know it hasn't been that long. I know it's only been going on a month and a half now. Have you been preparing to the best of your ability? Have you been strengthening your weaknesses? Have you been maintaining your strengths? And right now, with everything going on in the realm of silver, at least... Do you consider this to be a little bit of a distraction? Do you think we're focusing a little bit too much on the inability to get silver for a low premium right now? We're focusing too heavily on what some of these online precious metal dealers may or may not have done and not focusing enough attention on the rest of the preps. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.